Why, hello you, and welcome to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Ah, oh, the music hits. A magic beyond all we do here. I love this game. I used to play this after school at, at this like little after school club we had. I could never play it for more than like 30 minutes and my mom would come and pick me up. But I'd try and see how far I could get in the game every single day. And I could never get very far because I was young and dumb. But now I'm older and I'm dumber. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna play the entire game. I went through a lot of modding, a lot of hours, a lot of sweat, maybe even some tears to get this game to run properly. Uh, a lot of fixes, and it's running widescreen, so that should be kind of neat. Never played in widescreen before. Um, yeah, hopefully it's everything you want it to be. Get yourself a cup of tea. <sighs> Mine is absolutely cold. <laughs> it took forever to get this to run. Anyway, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I can hit the start. Eh. New game. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. While at Gringotts Wizard Bank, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vault 713, mentioning to Harry that the package, whatever it was, would be safer at Hogwarts. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Dumbledore stood up. This term, the corridor on the third floor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! All right, sorted and everything. No Diagon Alley, we just straight into Hogwarts. Oh, the nostalgia. It's pretty high fidelity. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry. So, search behind every door, but keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning, I took a wrong turn and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a, a nasty horde of fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't be late. Did the voice actor change halfway through? It was like, oh, and uh, it's very old. Oh no! It sounded completely different. I actually think my mod kind of saw. Look, his glasses are actually okay. Usually they look like 3D goggles. Does not do well to dwell on 3D movies, Dumbledore. I was. I'm surprised that neither the movie nor the game uh, actually got correct what he did in the books. Because in the books, he stood up at the feast and he was like, um, I would just like to say a few words. Twiddle something, something twick. It was super random and weird. He was really weird in the beginning of the books. I love you, crazy old man. 
Enjoy your 3D movies. Whoa! That's a good spin. Hey Harry! Remember me? Ron Weasley? My brothers Fred and George have something to show you. Follow me! What? <laughs> there was an error in the game. He got his own brother's name wrong. Follow me, Harry. Okay, <laughs> what the hell? I walked from there to here and the game was like, better better make sure that he's still following him. Could be an idiot playing. Ah, yes, it's Gretton Forge. Hello, Harry. We can show you how to get around Hogwarts. As a first year, you have a lot to learn. Follow us for a secret lesson. I'll see you later in defense against the Dark Arts class. Good luck, Harry. Later, Ronald. We're going to teach you how to climb. Run to the bookcase and don't stop. You'll climb up. Above the bookcase is a Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Bean. Collect all the beans you can find and meet us in the next room. It's the same as in real life, you just run into the bookcase and when you think your face is about to get smashed against the books, you actually climb it. It's super realistic. What? what? Perfect jumping animation as well. Oh, hey. Just flail your arms around. What the hell? Well done. Now, let's try jumping. Oh, it's Peeves. Then press the jump button to jump across. If you fall down, you can climb back up and start over. Meet us in the next room. We'll take the shortcut and meet you there. Peeves was such a major part of... Um, press control key. Okay, that goes way too fast. Peeves was such a major... Whoa! Major part of the games and the movies. Oh, and the books. Peeves doesn't like first years, so watch your step. But he was never in the he was never in the movies. It was so weird to me. I was hoping so much to see Peeves in the movies because he was always funny. Yeah, you're not gonna fool me. I am too smart now, Peeves. He used to be quite scary when I was a kid. If I'm being honest, him and Filch. F Filch was really scary as well. You're getting the hang of this. In Hogwarts, you find all sorts of wicked treats. To pick up a treat, just run over to it. Chocolate frogs boost your energy. Bertie bots every flavor beans are fun to collect. We're collecting them too. We need 25 beans, Harry. Come back when you've got them all. Come see us and we'll show you the way to class. So I'm working for you now, Gretton Forge? This is child labor, what the hell? <laughs> it's like, it's fun to collect them. We need 25, so collect them for us. Yes, I got all the secret beans. I actually have some in the um, in my kitchen cabinet. Let me know if you want me to uh, to try and eat some at the start of the next episode. But I have a lot of them. Come here, chocolate froggo. Nice. Oh, it actually. Oh yeah, right. It jumps on its own if I just run to the edge. The ghosts used to—they were terrifying to me. Not a big fan of ghosts when I was a kid. Hello, I have Talk way more. He's the one with the wizard card. Oh, Thanks, hey Forge. We couldn't have done it without you. We need the beans for some <clears throat> experiments. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. At least I'm being paid. Guess they're starting Weasley's Wizard Weezes pretty early. Climb through the secret exit above the bookcases to get to your first spell lesson. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot this animation. Oh, Shuku! What the hell just happened? There we go. All right. Bye, Gretchen Forge. See you later. It's a really funny, um, it's a really funny quiz on uh, Pottermore called Gretchen Forge, where you just you have to uh, you have to answer correctly, obviously. Great explanation, Stefan. Thank you very much. <laughs> you have to answer some questions about who did what, if it was uh, Fred or George, and it's it's impossible. Well, well, well. If it isn't the famous Harry Potter, I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. These are my fellow Slytherins, Crab and Goyle. Did the voice actor just change Not again? What are they Slytherin doing? Is going to win the House Cup. 
and the Quidditch Cup. You better stay out of our way, Potter. Let's go, boys. My father will hear about this. Oh, we have Filch over here. He used to scare the crap out of me. I'm not afraid of you anymore. Alone, <laughs> Keep away from this corridor if you know what's good for you. French. <laughs> what the hell was that hand? I'll curse you right now. Vanilla banana. Oh, I don't know any spells. Hello, Hermione. Hello, Harry. It's me, Hermione Granger. We met on the Hogwarts Express, remember? No. Nope. Defense against the dark arts is through this door. Follow me. I am Professor Quirrell. T Today we'll learn how to p protect ourselves against the dark magic with the Flipendo spell. No. <laughs> Watch my wand. Then hold down the mouse button and repeat the pattern. Oh, they just the button when you're the don't care about the fourth wall at all. <laughs> hold down the mouse button. Uh. Whoa. It's a little bit of uh, wonky mouse play in this with the mod, but we're Gucci. First Flipendo cast out of a million. Shaggy F? What do you mean? You try and do it when you're high on coke. Try working faster this time, Mr. P Potter. Eh, perfect. Yes. That was spot on, Mr. Potter. Ten points for Gryffindor. Thank you. T -t -t Try working faster this time, Mr. P Potter. Again? Are you kidding me? Oh, I actually have a lot of time. I had like twice as much time. I don't even have to hurry. That's good. That's like a hundred points to uh, Slytherin, right? Uh, Gryffindor. Well Gryffindor, right there. Done, Mr. P Potter. Fifteen points for G Gryffindor. G go on, Mr. P Potter. Are you kidding Try me? Again. Uh. Took some more time there. I don't know if I got 95, though. Yes! <laughs> Take that, Malfoy. You the house piece of with the most points at the end of the year wins the house cup. Jesus Christ. Something just fell down in my room. <laughs> four out of four, baby. Splendid. You may now enter the Flipendo challenge to practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. P -P Potter. Hold down the mouse button to aim the Flipendo spell. Release the button to cast the spell. T -t Try it on that barrel. You're breaking my immersion by saying mouse all the time, god damn you. <laughs> I love how Snape is like, There will be no foolish wand waving or silly incantations in my class. Meanwhile, Professor Quirrell... Flipendo! 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 Oh. What a brilliant game. Flipendo. Hello. Can I do something here? I don't think so. I cannot down here though. Flipendo. Oh. Cast your flipendo spell at the switch on the wall to open the d d door. I th th think I already did. All sorts of things, such as this cauldron. Knock it over, Mr. P Potter. Flipendo. Bertie Bot Spins? Thank you. Man, school would have been much more fun if real teachers also rewarded you with, uh, with candy. Wait. Oh, I can probably climb this. Can I? No. Why did I... Hmm. I see a star, which is probably the... Wait. <laughs> so I am Confusion. 
Do I just walk back and around? I mean, that is a way. Okay. Lipendo. Thank you. Oh, I wish school was like this. It's... Wait. Oh, I spun it around now. Right, right, right. I don't remember any of this from when I used to play it. I just remember certain scenes and scenarios and voices. Maybe more like voice lines, but I don't remember the game at all. It's pretty good, though. It's cozy. The music is perfect. Ah, so Hello, Nicholas. Harry Potter. I am nearly headless Nick, the Gryffindor house ghost. Now, this is a save game book. When you touch it, your game will automatically be saved. The game will restart from this point if you faint. You can also load a saved game from the main menu. Goodbye. Later, dude. Way to break my immersion. Oh. Game saved, I guess. That went really fast. Flipendo! Opens the door. Flipendo! And opens the metal bars. English words. Man, I want to live in a house like this. I love little corridors that swirl all around. and It's so cozy and the blue color is pretty. I think it's the windows that really sells it for me. The whole, uh, this is probably not like stained glass, but the whole, uh, tall glass window. Yeah, mm. I like them. And this. Flip, flip, flipendo? It did nothing. Oh, it did. What the hell am I doing? Come, son. Well, I guess I just had to hit all three. Birchy pots, every flavor of beans. And I got a golden star. Ooh, did he say how many stars were available for each level? I mean, three makes sense, right? Fairy tales and all. Cast your flippendo spell on this block to knock it out of the way. Can do. Flippendo. Flippendo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you really had to cast spells like a million times. Had like one spell and it's just the same. Ah, oh, save the game. Can I? Oh, I can. Yes. Let's break all the things. Oh, maybe I could have done that for. Oh, oh just a, some bits and pieces of it. <laughs> first year student, first class ever in my life. Let's just uh, make a like a black hole like a void that the students can fall into. That's pretty cool We'll like mark them down one grade if they fall into the abyss. Oh Oh, that was really close Remember to tie your shoelaces. Wait, okay. I just want to see could I jump to either of the sides? Not anything that makes sense Flipendo Flip Flipendo Wait. Eh. I can't shoot uphill? Come on, Harry. You suck, man. Uh, so what's the game plan here? <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I don't even think that was supposed to be. Alright, speedrunning strats. You think Harry Potter has magic? The real magic is in my hands. Whoop. Whoop. Bonus star. Oh. Did he say how many stars were available? Oh, I never was very good at school. The whole listening part. Flipendo. Oh, we're at five stars now. So it can't be all bad. Dun dun dun. Music is going a bit. Oh, I'm locked in. <laughs> it's just made the freaking abyss below. Have fun, first year students. 
Yep. Surprisingly, the controls are okay. I'm, I'm gonna blame them later on when uh, when I inevitably mess up, but surprisingly, the controls are super good. Oh no, there are way more than five stars. I'm screwed. Thank you. Come here. We're in for the long haul. No clever editing. Some really eerie music in here. Blipendo! Blipendo! Risk it! it does Do you see why this game scared the, the, the pants off of me when I was a kid? Suddenly just ghost spooky laughing. That didn't work. Whoopsie daisy. Perfect. Oh, and then I was just about to say, how do I do that? <laughs> Fred and George, you are out of business. I have so many beans you don't even know. It's such an odd thing. That was never a thing when I was a kid. Like collecting candy. We collected magic cards, Pokemon cards, all weird s sorts of figures and everything. But we never collected edible stuff. Because, you know, we ate it. Also, candy gets kind of gross if you just store it forever. What is magic candy? I'm sure it's fine. Oh, that's a safe game, I think. This is a gnome, Mr. Potter. They like to p p pester young wizards. Knock him on his backside to complete the challenge. They move quickly and c can be c quite a nuisance. What? I never knew Tyler. One was in Harry Potter. Ow! They're stealing my beans! Oh, it, it didn't show the logo, so I didn't think I could cast it. No. Don't tell me my beans are gone forever. I'm gonna tilt big time. I just walk through them. Are my beans gone forever? You have got to be kidding me. They stole so many of them. I'm gonna about to go slither on and... Are you kidding me? I feel like this should be a secret door, though. Hmm. C Congratulations, Mr. P Potter. You completed the challenge. You collected all the challenge stars. 20 p points for Gryffindor. Now, hurry on to broomstick p practice. Back in their Gryffindor common room, Harry, Ron, and Hermione talked about their exciting first days at Hogwarts. There was much talk about the break-in at Gringotts Wizard Bank, but there was little time to dwell on this, since Harry and his friends were expected at their flying lesson with Madame Hooch. I am your instructor, Madame Hooch. For your first lesson, you will fly through these magic rings. I have so many questions. Control your broom with the direction keys. The speed up and slow down keys adjust your flight speed. <laughs> okay. Ready, Potter? On my whistle. My whistle. I am. G what the heck? 113 points? Someone's cheating. The game is rigged. This is the first episode uh, for me. Of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, or Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone in some countries with a question mark. Yeah, I love it so far. It's really charming with the music and everything. And some of the voices are just so far off, while some of them are spot on. I wonder if some of them are the real voice actors and the rest are like just found on the street. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I hope this is everything you wanted it to be. I love you guys, and I'll see you around for the next episode. Bye, you.